one of my most popular videos on this channel is a video all about yin yoga and i made that video in 2020 and in 2020 i was practicing yin yoga every single day and that is the reason why i made that video in the first place because the benefits of yin yoga are insane then covid got over and life happened and i wasn't practicing yin yoga every single day it was sporadic at best so this year i have started practicing yin yoga again and i'm practicing it every single day and honestly my mind is blown like this practice is amazing for those of you who don't know, yin yoga is a slow moving yoga practice where we hold on to the asanas for a minimum of 90 seconds and it goes all the way up to even 5 minutes. Yin yoga is focused on rest, repair and relaxation. And personally for me, yin yoga hits all the spots. So it takes care of my mind, body and soul. It's my relaxation and my meditation all rolled into one. And I think that yin yoga is highly underrated and it is a very, very, very powerful healing modality. So I wanted to just quickly hop onto YouTube today and film this video. And the way I wanted to share this video is what I feel when I'm on my mat practicing yin yoga. So I experience various different emotional states when I practice yin yoga and they happen to me in an order in a sequence and I'm going to take you through that sequence. So the very first feeling that washes over me is the feeling of presence. I'm on my mat and I'm present. I feel present here, now, on my mat, in my room, in my home, on this planet, in my body. I feel present and then this feeling of presence just radiates from me in every direction and it keeps radiating and it keeps going ahead and ahead and ahead and this feeling is like a frequency that keeps radiating from me and there is no boundary it just keeps on radiating radiating and radiating there is no limit to my presence. That is how I feel. So that is stage number one. The second feeling that washes over me is the feeling of acceptance. I'm present here. I'm present now. And I accept everything. I accept my body, where I am, what I'm doing, my life, the past, the present, the future, everything. There's a big wave of acceptance. So I feel engulfed in this big wave of acceptance. And just like the feeling of presence, the feeling of acceptance is also radiating from me everywhere. The third feeling that I experience is that of letting go. So after acceptance comes letting go. And here, I feel this in my entire body. It's time to let go. Let go of the now, let go of the past, let go of him, let go of her, let go of everything. Just let it go because letting go feels so good and so light and so healing. And so then I'm able to let it go. And then the fourth feeling is, ah, relaxation so once you let it go you fall into relaxation it's okay to relax i deserve to relax the feeling is of relaxation and relief rolled into one it's the most yummy delicious juicy feeling and then finally the feeling that i experience is that of openness and receiving support and receiving in general so literally when you're on the mat doing yin yoga you receive support it is not like power yoga 
it is more focused on relaxation and restoring so when i practice yin yoga i literally use four pillows just so that i can get that extra support and i can just relax into these asanas because we are holding them for a really long duration so i'm just sinking into these asanas and i have a lot of support so literally what yin yoga is teaching you it's okay to ask for support it's okay to get support it's okay to lean on support you don't have to do this alone you have all the support available to you so in your yin yoga practice you can use yoga props like blocks or pillows or bolsters i just get my cushy pillows i love practicing yin yoga with pillows it's the most relaxing thing ever so then with that feeling you feel really open and in that openness you are ready to receive you have primed yourself to receive so then as the practice comes to an end there is a feeling of openness and receiving receiving any ideas receiving inspiration or just being open to receiving any new opportunities or whatever it might be and that is how i end my practice now if you have never practiced yin yoga you would probably think i have gone crazy and this sounds a bit woo woo but honestly the only way you can discover this is through your practice so if you haven't yet tried yin yoga this is your invitation try it out there are so many amazing free yin yoga videos on youtube so definitely try it out so just a recap for you the way i experience yin yoga is through first presence then acceptance then letting it all go then relaxation and finally openness and receiving and you know what these are the best emotional states to lead a fulfilled life if you want to form connections genuine connections you must be in these states if you want to manifest better this is the base this is the foundation of becoming a magical manifester this regulates your nervous system this heals you of your trauma between the stages of acceptance and letting go you might experience an emotional release you might start crying and if this happens this is actually a really good thing your body is letting go of the hurt your body is letting go of the trauma and the thing about trauma is that it lives in your body and the releasing of trauma also happens through your body so yin yoga is such a good practice for emotional regulation for nervous system regulation and for releasing trauma so i can go on and on and on about why you need to try yin yoga but i will stop here and also check out my previous video it's really good so check it out if you want more information i will leave it linked down below and that is it for today's video i hope this was useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will be back here very soon with another video bye